What's going on ladies and gents? Dangerous here bringing you guys today some more Rainbow Six Siege gameplay. Now today we're going to be talking about the new attachments in the game. We're going to be talking about the muzzle brakes. Now just before we get fully in the video, I have to thank my friend Ryan from Salt Shaker Studios with helping me with the testing. You guys can go check out his channel down below. It is linked in the description. Another thing just before I want to continue this video, this will be a multi-part series quote unquote. Uh, I'll be making tomorrow a video on the reworks of the operators, so that'll be Blackbeard, Twitch, and Doc. Um, so far, really in love with those guys. Um, I love the reworks of where they're going and stuff like that. So, without further ado, let's talk about the new muzzle brakes and why I think they are probably the best attachment right now in Rainbow Six Siege. Now, just to get an idea... Um, in the patch notes, as I said in yesterday's video, they said the muzzle break was, um, it negated all first shot recoil and they want to put an emphasis on precision. Then in the actual game itself, it says it acts as a middle between the compensator and flash hider. Now I have to say, first shot recoil is grandly reduced. On top of that, with the reworks that they've done to a lot of the DMRs, they've actually made semi-automatic rifles, including Glass's snipe rifle, extremely accurate, as D DJ Cal would say right about now. So, honestly, Blackbeard's DMR, great. Um, Twitch's DMR, it's awesome. Uh, Buck's DMR, it's really fun to play with. And obviously, they did rework uh, Twitch and Buck's DMR to have some more damage. So it really assists with that. So the muzzle brake overall is just a very good attachment and I'd suggest investing in it um, as a middle ground or just as something it's easy to pick up. It, it doesn't have, you know, that uh, initial uh, recoil climb that the, uh, that the compensator uh, has where it has an increased first shot recoil value. Um, but it also helps with your longer range um, after you fire for a bit, helps control that for a while. Uh, it has the benefit of the flash hider, but not the actual hiding of the flash. It, it keeps your spread low when bursting, and overall, it's a really good attachment. You can't really... I, I really enjoy it. When I've been playing it, I put it on every weapon to test it all out, and for the main characters that I thought it would help, it has made them even stronger players. Doc has become an immensely powerful character. I've actually started using the ACOGs again on the MP5 and the MP... Uh, for Rook... Uh, for Rook and Doc again, um, well, at least ACOGs on those because I like the way the muzzle brake works with it. Um, on top of Buck's, uh, not Buck, Doc's rework that's going on, and I'll leave that, of course, for tomorrow's video, so make sure you guys come back for that. Um, you know, it just feels really awesome um, to have this better control over your weapon. Now, when they say, like, back to the whole thing where it said it's an in-between between the flash hider and compensator, it really feels like that, and it's something I personally really enjoy. Now, maybe someone else might not like it, it's okay, but I have to say the muzzle brake is probably going to make a giant skyrocket um, in usage. Not because it's new, because people will actually start gravitating towards it because it makes a really good impact on the weapons. So, continue on that line, the weapons I greatly see it improved or has improved has have to be Glass's sniper rifle. That is the main gun that I've seen that thing help. Glass's sniper rifle is a is a laser beam it's amazingly awesome now i didn't get any footage with it unfortunately um i was a little bit uh behind on that i didn't get to pick glass i was busy recording for blackbeard uh and twitch but you can just imagine that negating first shot recoils if you're really controlling that dmr especially it's almost anti-spam built into it where you can't empty the whole mag in quick succession compared to the other dmrs this sniper rifle is really a sniper rifle, and this is a very significant buff to Glass himself. Something we've been needing for a while just to make Glass a little bit better. Um, I really think it's helped him a lot. Of course, there's also the assist for the other DMRs, as I mentioned before. Talk about some full auto rifles that it really helps in the long run. Um, I find it helping um, Thermite's assault rifle very much because it just seems to suit it really well with its slower rate of fire. Um, it doesn't have, you know, that much kick anymore. You can be really accurate with it. I like it. Um, the 416 for Jaeger, it is one hell of a powerhouse. I was using it with the ACOG and the testing, as you'll see from cutting in and out some gameplay here. But as you can tell, it is really greatly improved. Um, I did run, as you saw, Ryan and I were just running in some tests here that's faded in and out of the gameplay. Just to show the consistent accuracies 
of the guns and what's been going on. And oh my god, this muzzle brake is really a game changer. Now, an SMG, I have to say, that received a lot of love in this patch was the P90. And putting a muzzle brake on this P90 is something you're going to want to invest in. Now, the compensator does seem a smarter decision in the long run because if you heavily spray with it, but if you're very consistent with your tap firing, which is strongly recommended with the P90, um, put a muzzle brake on it. You guys won't regret it. If you learn to control that P90, you're going to have a good time. The way they reworked the P90 is has like less muzzle climb and on top of the first shot recoil has been reworked. So overall, it's really, really nice. Also, the G36 did get a rework and this also suits the muzzle brake really well because they've reduced its first shot recoil. The muzzle brake and vertical grip are something very powerful in the G36. Or if you want to keep the angle grip, it's not that bad either. But tap firing is uh, more recommended in this situation with the G36 and the P90. As I said before, the MP5N really benefits from it well, achieving more accuracy in those consistent uh, shots. Um, the SMG-11 didn't receive this uh, attachment, which is good because that thing is the pocket sniper rifle. Um, but it also but it received a heavy barrel, but I haven't seen anyone use it as of yet. But for the most part, the muzzle brake has really helped out those guns specifically. Oh yeah, and Blackbeard's uh, Scar-H as well. Really, um, they increased it. Uh, they rework the scar age so it increases to its max recoil faster with the shield up and this muzzle brake really helps it a lot too helping you keep accurate as possible i really enjoy it compensator is still a good choice for it as well but if you can't control it i suggest the compensator if you're really if you're trying to get better with gun skill and accuracy i suggest migrating over to the muzzle brake because it will really help you nail those shots down get tighter groupings get those one pop headshots and it will really reward your accuracy later on instead of a spray and pray tactic. Now, obviously, this benefits to your play styles. If you're at longer ranges, you want to keep accuracy. If you're close up, spray and pray is king. That is why I believe the muzzle brake is a very strong attachment. Because, you know those memes where it's like, get a guy or girl who can do both. And it shows like a guy doing something and then like him being totally romantic on the other hand. Or some girl that's like being super lazy and adorable. And then she's all dressed up, fat, uh, fancy and sexy and stuff like that. It's literally that. The muzzle brake is a great in-between, and it just suits all play styles very, very easily. It's very, very easy to transition from long-range to short-range engagements. It's suited with ACOGs. Any set you want to use, this optic... This op Yes, because you put a muzzle brake on your optic moves. God, God, if I could speak. You know, the muzzle brake really suits all weapons very nicely. If you guys are really getting in the game or you want to start working on your accuracy a little bit more or challenge yourself or have something that can benefit you, the muzzle brake, it may not specialize as the flash hider or the compensator doing their own fields, but it makes transitioning easier into those, as I said, close range or long range environments. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a good time. It's going to be a great time, mate. Needless to say more. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Once again, guys, stay tuned. We will have tomorrow the rework full cover of Doc twitch and blackbeard coming out so make sure you guys stay tuned for that you guys are going to enjoy the hell out of that there's some awesome reworks and some game changing metas that twitch has just for a little spoiler here her shock drone can actually take out cameras in the beginning phases and gadgets and shock people so with that being said it's really important now as twitch to actually go take out those spawn cameras so people can't see you as you're trying to spawn in and say get to cover or something like that We'll also be covering the impact grenades. So we've been doing a lot of testing with Ryan and I. Don't worry, they're not one-shot kills if you get impacted by them. At least from our testing, I hit Ryan right in the face with it. He was Ash. I was Castle? Yes, I was Castle. I hit him right in the face as Ash. She's a low armor operator. She didn't die. We did a lot of testing with it. Even in actual games, we didn't die from it with direct impact. So stuff like that. Claymore, as you'll see, come out. Uh, general reworks and stuff like that. Everything that's in the patch, the heavy barrel will be covered. I look, so I look, I look forward to doing these videos with you guys. Once again, if you haven't, go check out Soul Shaker Studios in the description below, guys. But thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for the support that's been going on. You guys mean so much to me. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next couple of videos that are coming up. Um, if you guys like me to uh, do a video with each gun and what the recoil patterns look like when you're trying to compensate and control or not, you know, just let loose on the trigger and control recoil for each guns let me know in the comment section down below please 
so I can actually do it and produce the content you guys like to see. Uh, also, if you like me to do it for the heavy barrel as well, I can do that. Uh, that can be arranged just so you guys can get a better idea. Maybe if you skeptical about trying out a gun. I mean, once again, the muzzle break for seasons past is like 63 right now. So it's not that big of an investment. So I would suggest trying it on every gun. Uh, muzzle, I'll, if I didn't forget to mention, muzzle brakes are also available for every pistol. So I'd really suggest using that because those things are accurate as hell. But for the most part, everyone's been going in there with their primary, so that's why I kind of left them out. But I guess that's a little side note if you stuck with us long. So once again, guys, thank you so much. Remember everything I just said. I'm the Danish Wrist, and I'll see you sexy beasts in the next episode. Peace.